Now let's look at this in some detail. We have done this in the last class, but let's quickly run through this. Uh, the standard of novelty that India follows, like the rest of the world, is an absolute standard of novelty. Novelty means something has to be new. New in the sense that it should not, the knowledge of that invention should not have gone before the invention to the world. Meaning which, the public domain should not have this knowledge. It should not form a part of the public no uh, domain and it should not be a part of the state of the art, the, the knowledge that is in a particular art. We, this is the requirement of novelty. The novelty of your invention for which you want to get a patent should be such that it has not been disclosed anywhere in the world, either by publication, which is easier to ascertain, or by even use. Novelty can be destroyed even by prior use. Somebody had used it before. It may not have been captured in a publication, but if the use can be proved, given, uh, 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 given the manner in which you can produce proof of use, then your invention will stand anticipated. So anticipation is the word which we use to show that something has gone before. If we say the invention is anticipated, we are referring to the fact that the invention is not new. It does not have novelty or it lacks novelty. That's the right word to use. An invention lacks novelty when it is anticipated. An anticipation can be by prior publication or by prior use. There are exceptions to anticipation. We went through that very briefly. It is there mentioned in the Act, uh, section 29 to 34. We will be coming back to it in greater detail in the uh, forthcoming classes. Now, to determine novelty, we need to understand what the invention is about, the technological field in which the invention uh, relates to, uh, the information that went before the invention, because that's a key for you to demonstrate. For you to demonstrate something is novel, you will have to first show that what has gone before your invention is what we call the prior art and you will have to show that your invention is different from what has gone before. So that comparison is an inevitable part of <coughs> proving novelty. You need to compare your invention with what has gone before. Now, <coughs> So this comparison with a comparison of the invention with what has gone before is what we call a, the test of novelty. The test of novelty is done predominantly by a prior art search. You might have heard this term before. If you have to launch a product uh, you would, or if you want to file a patent, you would do a prior art search. You would search the patent databases and also non-patent databases and to find out whether your invention satisfies the first category, whether it is novel. Now, novelty test is largely done by a prior art search. Prior art search is not just confined to the, uh, to the databases on patent law. It also involves, when it is done professionally, it also involves the non-patent databases. So, you could engage a professional or you could do this in-house if you have the tools with you. And, and once you generate a prior art, you have, you will be able to see what, where your invention stands. To generate a prior art search, what you would normally do is you would describe your invention in detail. It could be, it could be if, if you have drafted the claim, everything, that will be a very detailed description. But normally to do a prior art search, you don't need the claims. If your invention is described in detail, the descriptive part, with that you can get a prior art search done. Now the professional, whoever uh, does the prior art search, he would look at your invention, the, the way in which you have disclosed it, and he would take the main terms and, and, and create some search terms out of it. Then he will go to the patent database or the non-patent database. There are some, uh, some uh, uh, companies like LexisNexis and Derwent which give you uh, both patent and non-patent databases for a subscription fee. So you could use, just how we do a search on Google, 
you could go to a uh, go to an advanced search there'll be columns where you can fill these uh, search terms and it'll generate a report of what are the patterns that have gone before yours and patterns and non pattern material so this check is what we call it is actually a novelty check but but people use the prior art search in a much more broader fashion they say that a novelty step uh, the novelty check is done when the prior art report says that your invention is not anticipated it it essentially says that the combination in which you have presented the invention has not in that combination it has not gone before so this is done by a prior art search so determining novelty is done by writing a description of your invention and looking at the search terms that are there and using those terms to search the patent and non patent databases and to come up with a prior art report so if the prior art report says that your invention is novel take it that your invention is novel so so you could you could uh, proceed with the application